and welcome back. Today I thought I'd answer a very good question raised on our Facebook group uh, page for the Dr. Sam Skincare Club. It's such a mouthful, isn't it? Basically asking what are the options for covering acne when it comes to a higher coverage product. Uh, now it's quite difficult when someone is meeting me for the first time with acne because I literally take my red pen out and go, no, you can't use that, you can't use that. So I take away long wear foundation, I take away powder, and I'll often take away sort of compact foundations as well. Things that I don't think are helping them when it comes to their, their skin. So what can you use? Um, now I did a video with the lovely Caroline Barnes on my approach to making up acne prone skin, pointing out that in essence, even if you have active acne, there are often great expanses of skin that are on touch. So if you're an adult acne sufferer, all your troubles will often be down here, maybe onto the cheeks, but 60 to 70% of your skin might be clear. So when someone starts wearing heavy coverage foundation all over, rather than just strategically on the trouble spots, um, it can end up looking like there's something to hide in areas where there isn't and just make you look more made up and I guess doesn't allow the quality of the good skin to show through, which I'm a big believer in. So in general, my approach is to use light coverage, tinted moisturizer, BB cream, foundation, whatever you want to use all over, but then just go in with your higher coverage product where you need it. So I thought I'd show you some of the tools that I've currently been loving. Um, some of them might be old favorites, but just to understand the approach really I use when it comes to the higher coverage products. So um, NARS, big fan of NARS, as you probably know. And I like these two products. Um, they're soft matte concealer and their velvet matte foundation stick. Now, for someone who's really still feeling quite unconfident about their skin, they might marry that up with the velvet matte tint. For someone who's feeling a bit more confident, they might go for the Radiant Tinted Moisturiser or the Sheer Glow Foundation. Um, but they might use this where they have um, a need for higher coverage. Now, the good thing about these, they're matte, so that means it's not going to draw attention um, and create shine where you don't want it. Um, the range of shades is awesome, albeit that the popular ones sometimes get sold out, but um, I'm using, um, medium one in custard and goby in light. And I'm somewhere in between these two shades. I custom blend them. Um, I have this in two shades. The other one is goby as well, actually. So I, I, I'll play around and you need different shades of concealer in different parts of your faces. Um, faces? Face. <laughs> so um, I like both of these. This one's super portable. This one you have to kind of um, carry a brush around and you know, my old faithful an old under eye concealer brush in a pen format so I can um, easily um, make it portable. So I like these and I think they stay really quite well. Um, if I wanted extra coverage to be extra long lasting, I might marry either of these up with a dab of Vichy Derma Blend Foundation Stick. Now the range of shades is not as big as it's going to be for a higher end brand like NARS, but they have introduced two new shades recently. Um, but you can get the one that's closest to your skin tone and maybe amp up the coverage even further if you feel you need to with just a dab of that custom blend to get the right shade. Um, and there you have a really long lasting product which won't tend to clog your pores. So the, the common theme here is that nothing is comedogenic or promoting of acne. Um, and that's kind of a try and test of things. These are brands I recommend to patients all the time. So yeah, the foundation stick you've seen perhaps before has a handy sponge end. So it's almost like a portable beauty blender type um, gadget and then the stick um, at the other end. So that's great. Um, then a new discovery is the Lancome Tent Idol. Um, what's the full name for this? ultra wear um, and this is another kind of dinky foundation stick um, this shade is beige ivoire it might be a touch warm for me but what i really like about this is the texture of it um, it's very very easy to glide onto the skin and that makes for very easy application on the go um, it's very blendable like the nars products are um, 
and it stays put, um, but a surprisingly elegant format for something that actually stays put really well. So that's great, and again, long comb, great range of shades and non-comedogenic. And you might marry that up with the Tent Mirac or the Air Tent, um, which are some of their lighter weight foundations, which I really like actually. Um, now I've got the Doma Blend in the liquid format here. Now I personally use this quite a bit because if I um, want to amp up the coverage of my under eye concealer, I'll add a dab of that in and I find that the cream texture makes it um, more suited perhaps to delicate areas like the under eye area. I wouldn't use the foundation stick in my tear trough at all. But this can also be used to amp up the coverage of your base. So if you're using a tinted moisturiser but all of a sudden you've got trouble down here, you might not be happy using the tinted moisturiser and so it might just be easier to apply a bit more coverage. Again, the same principle applies. A dot of Dermablend mixed into your lighter coverage base will just give you so much more confidence and security. Um, for me, opal is the closest to my natural skin tone. It's a little bit pink, but I find again, when I sort of mix it with some NARS, which is quite yellow, I can get a shade that's bang on. Um, so those are my current favorites. Um, and, you know, I completely acknowledge that makeup is an integral part of treatment for acne. I encourage people not to remove their makeup at the end of the day. There's no need to because Makeup makes us feel good, and I just think that you go home, you take your makeup off, you know, it's bad for morale whenever you're going through that initial treatment phase, when things often might even be purging and looking a bit worse than they were at the start. So I say use your makeup, use friendly tools that won't do any harm, and give you a, a sense of um, confidence and reassurance. Um, but yeah, great additions to your toolkit. Um, I hope you like them. Try them, let me know how you find them. Bye for now.